On October 19, 1882, in Knoxville, Tennessee, three men were killed after a shootout that occurred on Gay Street. The three men were General Joseph Alexander Mabry, Thomas O'Connor, and Joseph Alexander Mabry Jr. It is believed by some that there is a case of insurance fraud surrounding the deaths of the Mabry men. This theory is not a difficult one to entertain, as cases of insurance fraud were not uncommon in the late 1800s. One of the most notable examples is Dr. H. H. Holmes, the serial killer that terrorized Chicago in the 1890s. He joined with Benjamin Pettizel to scam more than $10,000 in insurance money. The Mabrys were allegedly without their wealth due to the gambling habits of General Mabry. The scam involving the Mabrys suggests that a life insurance policy was filed under the name Joseph Alexander Mabry II. It would be assumed that the claim was issued to the youngest Joseph A. Mabry, when in actuality, he was Joseph A. Mabry III. General Mabry was Joseph A. Mabry II. When General Mabry died, his family received the insurance money. However, females at this time were unable to hold their own wealth. This would raise the question of who receives the insurance payout. It is speculated that the money went to Alice Evelyn Mabry's husband, Rush Strong Hazen. Unfortunately, evidence of a large payout to Rush Strong Hazen has not been found, and articles referencing him describe Rush Hazen as a wealthy businessman and benefactor, but do not divulge details of how he obtained his great wealth, other than his job as a grocer and his founding of the Knoxville YMCA. Without the insurance claim, there is no way to prove that this was fraud. This is because we cannot prove who the claim was filed under or who was listed as a beneficiary on the claim. Unfortunately, this claim has yet to be found and so none of this can be proven. It is merely speculation.